What's happening? Okay. I to welcome you guys to my channel. Uh, did you see my best of 2017? Hopefully you see my best of 2017. Hopefully you see my worst of 2017. But we're in a new year, so let's talk about the most anticipated films of 2018. My top 10 most anticipated films of 2018. And when I say most anticipated, I'm saying the ones I want to look, I want to see the most. The ones that pretty much stick out to me. The ones that I care about seeing the most. The ones that I'm going to be in the theater for. Now, it may not be your top 10 because some of you guys like small and indie films and some of, us, some of you like big blockbusters. But this is <laughs> this is my top 10. And what's crazy, I know you're going to say that. Okay, a lot, I'm a little, there are quite a few I left off here because I, I didn't realize a lot of these films, a lot of films were coming out this year. And uh I might talk, do a separate video talking about them, but for this video, it will only be my top 10 films that I'm looking forward to. No honorable mentions on this video as well, because believe me, if I were to do an honorable mention video, there would be like 20. There'd be like 20 honorable mentions, I'm just being real. Uh, but let's dive into it. Uh, my number 10, I had to battle with this, it, it was between... Uh, this and uh, Mulan, but I went with Solo, uh, a Star Wars story. For for like pretty obvious reasons, I, I've really been enjoying the Star Wars stuff. Uh, Rogue One was my favorite movie of that year. Uh, I think uh, I, I really enjoy that movie a, a bunch, and hopefully, I think I know a lot of people really don't like them going back and just making all these Star Wars films because they like the mystery. Uh, but I, I, I kind of enjoy it, you know, uh, and, and Solo is, is something I feel like Han Solo character, one of the greatest characters, even though you don't have uh, Harrison Ford playing the character. I hope that the guy, I can't remember the guy's name, who's playing it, you just can, he, he can capture that and, and really bring it to life. And I heard from what I heard, it's going to be like a gangster movie. So hopefully it'll be like a gangster movie in space. Yeah, that's pretty fun. I'm pretty sure we'll see. Uh, you're going to see Chew. You're going to see all your favorite characters. And more, to, to be honest, uh, I saw Amelia Clark was in it. And I pretty much am in love with Amelia Clark. So, I had to put it on here. Yeah. I am here. Stays a baby. Oh, uh, but yeah, let's slide, let's slide over to my number nine, which is uh, Ready Player One. Ready Player One, the trailer fucking sold me on completely. That I think the second trailer is the one that really got me. And I seen, I seen, I saw it in the movies, uh, movie theater. On like before the film, I was like, yeah, I, I got to fucking see that. That bitch look like it's gonna be everything I need it to be. And I didn't know they were gonna have like it, stuff going on outside of it as well. So it looks very interesting. I'm, I'm really excited to see Ready Player One. Mine. Now move on to number eight. My number eight is what is my number eight. I, oh, I think I know what it is. My number eight is Aquaman. Uh, the only reason this, I, I'm a huge DC fan, uh, but the only reason this isn't higher up on my list because I haven't seen like any trailers or anything. I think after the first trailer, this probably bumps up to probably like pretty high because I, I i really i enjoy justice league i love all the characters in justice league uh i was a big fan of justice league uh actually uh didn't make it on my top 10 but i'll mention uh and i really like the jason momoa aquaman um uh, because the dude's fucking badass dude like and he seems i to one thing i'm really more even more excited about is like uh, when, when he started doing press for this because he's a guy who is energetic and he's going to really bring life and really let you, because he's been ready to like get his shine. You can you can tell how he, when he talks about VVS, he's like, I was barely in it. And then he talks about the Justice League, like, okay, I get to see more. He's really, he was, he's been dying to show this movie to the world. He hasn't even seen it yet. So yeah, I'm really excited for Aquaman. Uh, number seven, Dark Phoenix. You know me, you know I'm a fan of the X-Men uh, franchise, completely, wholeheartedly. Only X-Men movie I didn't like was Last Stand. I was cool with every other, every other X-Men film, that's just me. Oh, hold up, take that back. Uh, Origins was, that was a piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, for the most part, I really like your other X-Men films, and the, the, when they released that picture of Sophie Turner as Dark Phoenix, 
it it did blew me away. That picture alone is what sold me. I'm like, yeah, and I love her from her uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, so I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Keep me up too. You know what I'm I, I take that back. I take that. I'd rather take Khaleesi. But this, you, you get what I'm saying. I mean, come on. Can you really go wrong? Can you really go wrong, people? But yeah, I, I'm excited to see Dark Phoenix. I hope they really capture the, the chemistry between Gene and Scott. That's one of the main things. Cyclops is actually my favorite character. So I hope they really delve into like that whole thing between them two and give the guy, I got the kid's name playing Cyclops, but I really hope they give him a chance to really like show the Scott Summers uh, I'm used to seeing and read in comics. Now, on to number six. Uh, New Mutants. I was saying the next man. This the trailer sold me. I think I've read only a few New Mutants comics. On, on I mean, uh, very minimal. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't even read the arc in which this uh this is the movie is based off of. But just the trailer alone, it, it it Fox did something very different, bringing in a horror film with this with mutants in it. it it's just it it seems the trailer. It, it's it's stellar. It's one it, to me is one of the best trailers of 2017, uh, and I just really enjoy it because I, I like what they're doing with this. I like what the uh, Fox was doing with the X Men uh, and New Mutants. To me, seems like a, another step of uh, in the in the uh, comic book genre of doing something different and, and keeping a, keeping the keeping the genre fresh. You know so. I really enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to see. And plus the cast is great. I love it. All the casting is fucking phenomenal for me. Uh, number five is a movie that took 14 years to get fucking made, but I'm happy it's coming. And that is Incredibles 2. I didn't see none of the stuff from D23 like everybody else did. I just saw the little seven second little teaser, or 15 second little teaser we got. Cool. Cool. They ain't, I'm waiting for a trailer when to break the internet. This is a movie I feel like I'm probably gonna be punching little kids in the face to grab my ticket when I can just order it online. But I'm, I'm gonna go to the theater and be in line and grab my ticket and with a smile on my face, like yo, once the credits. Like I'm sitting in the middle and, and, and I, I, it's kids. This movie's for me, not for not for little kids. Little kids, not for you. Even though your parents probably gonna tell you, hey, let's go see it. No, you, your parents want to see it. That's who wants to see it, okay? I'm, I'm ready to see it. <laughs> uh, number four, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ant-Man is in my top five favorite Marvel films. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. It, it just is. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, do you like Hold up, top five? Top five, top five. Shit, might have got knocked. It might, past year, might have got knocked down or something. But it was in my top five last year. But uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to see Ant Man in the Watch. I, I I think this movie is going to not surprise people because I think people pretty much expect it to be good. But I think it's going to really shock people on how good it's going to be. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the best comic book films ever. I think they're going to do something with the two men, the Ant Man and the Watch, and Watch. That is going to be so. I think it's going. I, I, I'm looking for a rom com in here, like uh, action rom com. Like, come on, that that's just new stuff. Still, that they're, they're putting in the genre, and I think it is going to be absolutely amazing. Number three. What is my number three? I know my first two are, but ah, number number three is Deadpool two. They got to have to talk about this. After, after, I mean, this is it's only getting bigger and better. And I don't think it's gonna pull a Kingsman to where uh, the budget was bigger and the movie just, just doesn't just quite land. No, I think this is going to absolutely be great. I think the marketing is pretty much gonna gonna rev up pretty soon. We all we all know how that that grade A marketing is, and I think this. Deadpool 2, and the inclusion of Cable and Domino, a lot of others. I think this is going to be very good. I think we don't have Tim Miller coming back for this one, but I still think this is going to be a very, very great film. And I think Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is, is, is the everything you need. The, every, the perfect match for a comic book character in history, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see Deadpool 2. My number two is Black Panther. 
you, I don't think y'all realize what this movie finna do. <laughs> like, I see somebody, I've seen reports at like, uh, oh, Black Panther's first cut is, is, is coming in at like four hours. I seen a girl tweet, man, y'all don't understand. I've been in church for longer than that. I can handle it. <laughs> I don't think y'all realize. You can make this movie three hours long. You know who going to know? It's going to be me and my people. All right, we, we in that bit, like loving it. Regardless, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Listen, this thing can come out and have a 0% on Rotten Tomato. I promise you, that does not mean shit. Because most, most of my people don't look at fucking, fucking, uh, the Rotten Tomato score. They just going in there. And finna, they is prepared to love this film. I'm prepared to love it. That's why it's number two on the list. I, this, I do not have any doubt that this is going to be a very different Marvel film, but it's going to be one of the best Marvel films. I also think that it's going to have the effect that Wonder Woman had last year. That Black Prince is going to have that effect. Not the same effect, not just the same people, but in a, in a, in a, in a, in a way it will because it, it portrays strong black women, strong black men, and, 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 and I think it's going to really hit some, some, some little key points really, really hard. Uh, and number one, come on, man. It's, it's really, it's like it's not everybody most anticipated film to 2018. Avengers Infinity War. It's like it's not everybody most anticipated film to 2018. Avengers Infinity War. Bruh, we've been waiting 10 years for this. I just need, I've been waiting 10 years to see Thanos do something. And we get an entire movie of him doing a lot. I just, now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Have I ever read, I read the Infinity Gauntlet comic. I've never read the Infinity War uh, comic. So I, I don't know everything, but I think I know enough to see where it's going. I think I, I still need to read Infinity War and I understand. Uh, I, I got it, but I just haven't read it yet. Uh, but from what I've read in the comic, I kind of still, I kind of want them to tweak that out a little bit, if I'm being honest. Uh, in, in certain ways, you know, than others. But I, I just hope they really, and Josh Brolin is from, I, I really like Josh Brolin as an actor. So I really hope they hit hit it off with Thanos. I really hope they have Thanos to be like this crucial ass motherfucker. Like the, the, the guy. I want him to be the villain. Like I want him to, I want to hate him. If they can make me hate him and that be a good thing, I'm I'm good. I need to, I need to actually have to <laughs> hold on, I'm just grabbing I need to actually see like fear. I want to actually feel like afraid for the uh, the events. I want to, when I leave this movie, because there's, this me honest, there's a part two and basically a part three. I mean, a part three and, there's another part to this, okay? That's what I'm saying. When I leave, I want to be like, yo, what the fuck, man? I just got took for a ride. And I also want to just kind of, during, during the movie, I want, I want the Avengers to really feel hopeless. I want, I want them to be like, yo, and I want to just see it. I want to see it on display on screen. I'm like, yeah, I don't know how they're going to win. I want to actually feel that. And I think it's going to deliver. I think it's going to deliver. That was my list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> let me know what, what film are you most excited for that, uh, in the comments. Uh, let me know what's your most excited films. Anticipated film in 2018, whatever. I know you probably have some smaller films that I didn't mention. Hey, listen, that I'm a I'm a guy who go gets the big bucket of popcorn and stuffs it in his face. So I like the pop. There's a couple movies I didn't mention. I I, I really want to see. There are some smaller films. Just how it came out to be, because they, but they just didn't make my top ten. But like I said, you guys, let me know what your top films that you want to see next year. Uh, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to my channel. Um, I do a lot of cool stuff. I think, I think I do a lot of cool stuff. I talk pretty cool dudes too, so peace out y'all. <laughs>